So this is the GD board running a test print right now. I actually had to switch over to a regular Creality screen because the 12864 emulation mode on the big tree tech one that I think it's an E3 TFT35 doesn't work with these GD chips. It looks to be a timing issue because the display gets corrupted even when setting slower timings. Anyways, this was compiled with the Maple environment um, instead of the STM32 one. Um, so we're using the Maple libraries. Now this was the Benchy that came off of this printer uh, with the STM32 environment and uh, you can see it's got a lot of salmon skin this usually indicates some sort of timing issue we haven't seen these issues on these printers in a while because um, some of the old 8-bit boards had these problems but it's interesting to see this show up so this was printed with the stm libraries used and this one right now that's printing is the maple library so i'm going to see if there's any difference in print quality hopefully the maple environment works better with these uh, clone chips than the actual STM32 one. But the good news is the STM32 code does run on these chips. So I'm gonna keep testing this and see. The bottom line is the current code we have out for the boards for, with the STM32 chips does work with the chips that Creality is changing out, the GD32s, uh, the F303 is what they're using. So it works, but I'm wondering if the salmon skin is just due to a hardware design on these boards or if it's a timing issue with the processor running STM code. So uh, it did this with the stock firmware as well. So I don't think that's the case. I'm assuming Creality is just using the STM32 builds on these boards when they ship the printer. So hopefully we can figure it out. If not, you know, it works. You just get some salmon skin. This just might be the reality with these boards with these chips versus the ones uh, like this that have a real STM32 on it instead of these clone ones. So anyways, just wanted to post an update.